What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day and another, well, shall we say, Friday Night Frights. It's a throwback to, again, our regular programming. And, you know, this one has been an itch to watch. And, well, most likely, obviously, if you have tuned in, you already know what we're going to be watching. But without, uh, you know, holding you back, we're going to be seeing uh, The Fly, uh, one of David Cronenberg's, you know, uh, oeuvre, you know, uh, that's the wrong word, one of his masterpieces, shall we say. I'm not so sure whether there is um, scheduled to be a remake or if there already is one. But this is the original one. And I know David Cronenberg has a new film that I saw a trailer out um, with uh, uh, Mor- uh, Viggo Mortensen. And, you know, it was just a, uh, a rude awakening um, that, you know, to see how many non-David Cronenberg films I've seen. Well, not non-David, but how many of his, you know, his extensive filmography, how many films I have not seen. I have seen, you know, Eastern Promises, A History of Violence, which star Viggo Mortensen as these, you know, eclectic characters. But again, I have not seen his uh, more earlier um, pieces of cinema. So um, I'm doing the due diligence and we're watching a classic, um, shall we say, um, with uh, Jeff Goldblum you know, as the titular fly, or at least um, that's what I believe from, like, the poster, and, you know, why they would have such a famous actor, at least at the time, in the 80s, um, but without further delay, I'm glad you're tuning in, and I'm glad that you're you're continuing to support, even though I know, again, I'm not the most consistent creator. Um, do believe that uh, in the following weeks, there's going to be um, um, more consistency, shall we say, and, and I hope to keep my word. Um, but without further delay, into your beautiful day, into your Friday, we're going to get right into this film, because Captain, we are a go. I see what they're doing here. It's kind of interesting with the uh, like this hexagonal pattern type of showing, even what they did with the um, the introduction of the fly. Very, very, very cool. And again, you know, kind of, you know, it's uh, it's a foreshadowing of what it is to what well, you know what we're going to see with the uh, the fly. But I love it. I love a good title sequence. Oh, so you could come back to my lab. Listen, I'll make a cappuccino. <laughs> what a proposition, isn't it? Okay, let's see this life-changing experiment. Somehow I get the feeling you don't get out much. You can tell that? Yeah. Well, most brilliant scientists don't, but again, that would be kind of a stereotype. Sorry, I have three other interviews to do before this party's over. Yeah, but they're not working on something that'll change the world as we know it. They say they are. Yeah, but they're lying. I'm not. <laughs> she went out on a limb. Okay, this better be good. Okay, no, uh, no, not the most decent looking place, kind of shabby, but again, you know, most, well, you don't know, you don't know, everybody has their, you know, sense of brilliance in a garage or in a, in a, in a warehouse, you never know. Listen, uh, maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> the grooming is not working, isn't it? This is the prototype of those. It's the first one I had made. It uh, works. But prototype. It's so interesting question is, has he ever had this tested? And has it ever been accomplished? Or has this all been, you know, a prototype and, you know, a first model? Nice. Okay, that was kind of a weird look, but let's go let's go for it. The stalking. What are we going to do with the stalking in the telepod? Teleportation. Ooh, okay. Where <laughs> that's that's interesting. I would 
wouldn't be surprised this is a David Cronenberg film because he's very much used to, um, like, I know his sensibilities are very much sci-fi sci and horror. So to blend those two, it, it, it's a David Cronenberg formula. Oh. What? Wait. Okay, that was something personal that he could not have got. No, that's successful. He has successfully gotten the interviewer's attention. What happened? You get it all right. You just can't handle it. Um, <laughs> your stock has... This idea is going to change the world. Guys who are much more brilliant than I am, I say, build me a laser this, design me a molecular analyzer that, and they do, and I just stick them together. Well, he's a Steve Jobs kind of guy. Kind of a guy. I'd never have told any of this stuff to a journalist. But you did tell this stuff to a journalist. Well, yeah, in a way, I suppose I did. That sure did. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, then why bring her here? I, I, I'm assuming he wanted to hear her for a reason. And you fell for it. Wait a minute. That was no nightmare. Are we having lunch? Listen, that was no nightmare. Wow. That's, that's harsh, man. That, that's the, whatever industry this is, uh, yes, it's a journalist, but, you know, probably they're in, like, some type of science type of writing type of organization where they publish, like, articles on the latest type of inventions. That's a harsh, you know, type of criticism to immediately just write it off. I've come here to say one magic word to you. Yeah? Cheeseburger. He he's up to something. I'm not so sure what it is, but he has an uh, he has an idea which I'm I'm trying to figure out what he's trying to do. No, something important's missing. Yeah. A human. He wants to teleport a human. I can only teleport inanimate objects. Yes, 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 yes. Not while we're eating. Can't be worse well, than the this. Easiest way to do it would probably be to do it through an animal or a type of insect, which is why I'm assuming the eventual title. Your book will end with me transporting myself 15 feet through space from one telepod to another. That's what's really missing. Wow. <laughs> he has thought about the whole marketing already. This guy, he's crazy. He is a Steve Jobs. <laughs> Oh, you're kidding me. We're, yeah, we are starting with an organic life form. That's interesting. Just to see if it actually works to the point where, again, through the end of the book, he wants to teleport himself, and I'm assuming that's where something goes wrong. Wow. Wow. Fantastic prosthetic. Well, prosthetics, I'm assuming, but very fun to see all the gore. Computers are dumb. They only know what you tell them. I must not know enough about the flesh myself. I'm going to have to learn. Hmm. Inter inter interesting that he says that. I mean, to think about if a flesh object was inanimate, like almost a vegetable kind of. But again, who knows, right? If the, the, the computer has so many calculations that it has to factor in in terms of an organic life. So I don't think it can work like that. Okay, now we're testing with, well, sort of, yeah, flesh, but an inanimate flesh. Okay. I'm going to try this teleported half. Oh, are you serious? A monkey just came apart in the Yeah, let me guess. It tastes exactly the same. Funny how. It tastes, um, synthetic. Ooh, interesting. Synthetic. The poetry of the steak. So I'm going to start teaching it now. Hmm, that's interesting. So to think that the computer doesn't know how to, you know, um, um, reproduce it, the computer is re uh, like teleporting it how it thinks it is. So I don't know. I don't know how you would even try to explain, begin to explain to the computer how to, you know, understand the flesh and so that it can reproduce exactly what's in the initial telepod. You've got to talk to me. I don't have to do anything. We're finished, remember? I'll spend the night anywhere I damn well please. Sorry. Uh, I'll take this too. Wow, that's interesting. I, I, I don't I don't know if, well if she's a, a working under him or whether they're like the same status of like a journalist 
but most likely she's just working as an independent journalist within a company and she's running after her own stories but again this is something she you know she went out on a limb on so she should get every credit possible I think it's time for champagne Whoa what did he do and how did he change it Oh yeah, yeah I'll wait Oh no What What's that? Whoa, 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 whoa. How is he running with this? Uh, uh, spicy eggplant, champagne. I still have the residue of another life, you know. I, I have to scrape it off my shoe and get rid of it once and for all. That's one way to put it. I have residue from my previous life. I have to scrap it from my shoe. <laughs> I've never seen I've never heard it written like that, but that, that was just interesting. <laughs> it really puts into perspective how uh, Sathis, or however you pronounce his name, the editor, how what she thinks about him. I didn't mean to kill your brother, but he didn't die in vain. As the general said, there's nothing I'd ask you to do that I wouldn't do myself, boys. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what is leading to eventually, right? He's going to try it himself. But I I like I like the fact that it's a fly and I don't know if there's any connection or is there any type of inspiration but the episode in Breaking Bad when there's a fly in the in the the chemical like procedure when they're all in there. I'm not so sure whether it's um it's a like a a hat nod to to this film, but I I just it's it's interesting that you know fly could be a main reason for a an entire debacle interesting beautiful framing might i add with the with the the clear glass and the baboon the fly again what happens when there's two living organisms like organic life forms they merge into one How are you doing? Now you tell me. Am I different somehow? <laughs> he didn't even wait to like check up on the test of the baboon whether he's completely fine or not. He just went out on a limb, you know, and he's not <laughs> it's funny that he's asking the baboon and teleportation is successful. I got you lost. Oh god. Seth. Well, that so. for one, he's very honest with his emotions, which is amazing. Okay, that was a little bit odd, the fact that you could capture it mid-sleep, well, mid-awake, but still, that was cool. Wow, where did he get the innate strength to be able to do that? Unless he already, well, he was already a, like sort of a gymnast. I'm assuming he's coming to some type of hypothesis, which I'll really, I'm, I'm so eager to hear what it is. Molecular decimation, breakdown, and reformation is inherently purging. It makes a man a king. From the moment I walked out of the pot, I felt like a million bucks. You know, I think I am going to have a, a cannoli after all. Waiter! That's an interesting concept, the refinement process of making somebody a better human being by teleporting. Listen, I want you to go through. I want to teleport you as soon as possible, right now. No, like that uh, the, 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 something is uh, you can see it on his face you can see it on his back there's an innate change even with the sugar and like the hyperactivity and like his like a mental alertness I bet you think that you woke me up about the flesh don't you but you only know society's straight line about the flesh you can't penetrate beyond society's sick gray fear of the flesh destroyed and recreate it that's just too fascinating of an idea to leave behind. Hey, watch out, he's chocolate bars. Yeah, so I noticed. <laughs> oh, this is going to be too easy for him. He's, he has the innate strength. Uh, well, like, not innate, but it's this new strength and confidence that is, like, it's skyrocketing. <laughs> wow! <laughs> He got 
Munsend. Oh boy. Well, hopefully what he doesn't do is he does not teleport her. Everything about you is changing. You look bad. You smell bad. I've never been much of a bather. <laughs> this is all the characteristics of a fly, I guess. Not human, Seth. In fact, very likely insect hairs. That's silly. That's ridiculous. Look. Not so, buddy. Seth, please, wait. Seth. Don't come back. It's interesting because he's not looking at it from an objective perspective of him being sick. He's feeling all this new power that suddenly is like, whoa, I've been cleansed. This is a new reformation, a new born human being. So, again, he can't see the Kool-Aid he's drinking. Boy, that's unusual, and he can even attest to it that something is wrong. What's happening to me? Am I dying? This is the point of an existential crisis right now. Oh, <laughs> wait till it gets confirmed that it is an insect. Well, just just seeing his reaction to this computer sequence is freaky in itself. Fusion of the two. Molecular genetic level. Oh my gosh. That's 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 the last thing you want to read. Well, if anything, four weeks, I'll be afraid to see this man. This guy probably transformed into a man fly. I'm here. Stop. Seth. Okay, let's get a close up. Let's get a close up. I was not pure. The teleporter insisted on your purity. I was not pure. He's still under the concept of the teleportation and purity, except when you introduce a new compound, a new organic life. It's not. I'm the offspring of Brundle and Housefly. Oh, God. Oh, God. Seth. Well, don't touch him. He might be in contagious. Ooh. Well, I, at least he's still on the sugar binge. <laughs> wow! Well, that's David Cronenberg for you. Seth? No, no, up here. Oh. Got pretty good at it, haven't I? Wow. That's almost second nature. Wow. This man is turning into a physical man fly. What does the disease want? It wants to turn me into something else. That's not too terrible, is it? Most people oh, look of anything. Man. How could you not feel know. sick to your stomach? <laughs> they, they did so well with the, the cosmetic and the prosthetics. He regurgitates on his food. It liquefies, and then he sucks it back up. Ready for demonstration, kids? Kids, wow, you you want to see food get liquefy and then re re eat it? No, oh, oh man, what is this guy thinking? He's still thinking about a Nobel Prize. What do you want to do? I don't know. I just I don't know. That's a difficult situation, boy. What do you do? Wow. I don't think I want to lose it. Is there something wrong with me? Why am I losing it? It's better this way, Ronnie. You'll see. <laughs> it's the best thing that could happen. Well, uh, the number one thing is to see whether she's addicted to sugar or, or, or anything or what's going to happen. There's more? Yeah, I mean, a lot more. Okay. You're going to have to help us. Come on, you oh. can push. I think that's David Cronenberg. <laughs> that, that's cool. <laughs> What? 
whoa. <laughs> Just like any operating room. You got to love an operating room with prosthetics like, you know, in, in Alien and uh, subsequent films, which I'm forgetting. But there's always a very cool operating, like, uh, like scene with, like, brah. You're kidding me. What is he talking about? Oh. <laughs> His pronunciation is no longer going to be the same. Artifacts of a bygone era. Of historical interest only. This guy is assuming there's going to be interest in the future for some type of genetic molecular fusions. Have you ever heard of insect politics? Wait, she wanted to see him before what? Before he completely loses himself? I'm afraid um... <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say. Well, he's just, he's just trying to justify this in, this debacle. I'll hurt you with this day. Oh, no compromise. No, no compassion. Booyah. No, I think we should wait for a few days. I don't think you're in the right state no, of mind. No, now. I want it out of my body now. You should have seen okay, him. Okay, she wanted to tell him about the pregnancy. Got you. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, that must have been a shocker at the cinema. I'm afraid. Please. <laughs> Baby. Hey, that's an interesting uh, perspective, you know, to keep the real, uh, real, well, his dream, his sort of dream to be the Seth Brundle uh, portion of him. Yeah, this guy has already come up with his own methodology of fusion, and this it's, it's no more about teleporting, it's become a fusion machine. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna liquefy his hand because it's corrosive. Fantastic, I love it, I love it. That must be so painful. <laughs> Well, again, if he fusions with another human being, will he be able to become human again? Because I am, I'm assuming the more genetic, uh, like fusion, like the more he fuses with another human being, it may override the fly. Wait, his plan is to fuse with her? That's, that's interesting. What is it gonna create? Great. <laughs> oh, is, is a fly's head with the two eyeballs gonna come out? Well, well in one way or the, the other, she entered the pod. Boy, they did a fantastic job with the ending sequence. There's a lot of like good suspense that is happening right now, just within a couple of minutes, and the, like the sound effects that um, that is like with the with the movement of the fly. It's fantastic. Oh boy, what's gonna happen? Telepod two is still active, if I'm not mistaken. Successful. Okay, so question is, did it, uh, you know, evolve him even further more and refine him further more as a fly? Okay, question is, if she shoots, is she killing Seth or is she killing an insect? No, I can't. No, no, I can't. Hey, do it, otherwise he's gonna hurt you. They had the entire shot in a wide shot. Well, medium shot, but still cool. <laughs> wow.
Wow. Thoughts. Boy. Boy, boy, boy. I mean, what what, what a way to end the film with the final shot being like a boom head explosion. Ah, oh, boy, that would have... The ending sequence was just wonderful. Piece de resistance in terms of suspense. There's a high level in terms of like... um sympathy as well with Seth you know his intentions were very you know innocent at the very beginning until he eventually had the molecular fusion again one question being is if this if this you know if this machine did work and he this is the piece de resistance to his career and it eventually became a Nobel's you know, Peace Prize winning thing, could this have been used for the betterment of society in terms of like fusion, like a fusion between like a tiger and a man, a uh, man tiger for like military sake or, or to think outside of the box in terms of like what could be in terms of making man stronger or, or like combining a very human type of animal like a monkey or a gorilla with a human to produce like superhumans. Again, I, I'm, I'm assuming that's the whole Method, um, like uh, methodology of his own like uh, experiment how it turned into from one thing from teleporting into another and uh, I, it's, it's uh, like it wasn't an accident that he came up with such a brilliant like was the accident meant to be uh, and could it have you know I guess that's something that could be like uh, not a spinoff or a, or a sequel but just to ponder upon whether his invention was actually a, a good thing and could it have been seen through further if people were not afraid of it and may, hey maybe you we never know maybe she does not go through with the the killing of the the, the child who knows like like that that's a question did, did was the was the child killed because maybe she maybe she would have enough you know a uh, forethought into you know what i actually do want something uh, left behind with set brundle and this is this is the journalistic like you know um type of piece that has never been written in terms of the start of an experiment to the end of the experiment where the scientist actually dies but then there's a there's a piece of him like the the brundle museum of you know um the art the archaeological and like the 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 the, the remainder of what is uh, of uh, Seth Brundle and his eventual child and the child being this combination of, of, of a fly and a human being uh, interesting things to think about like uh, it's it's this is so David Cronenberg like the the gore the 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 the, 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 the effects and you know the whole 80s aesthetic of it all it's it's a wonderful film that also makes you think right and it's 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 be it's beyond the horror genre of just a scare a normal scare it's more along the like the like the lines of a John Carpenter I like his his almost his best film like the thing right and and uh, where it goes it's you'd have to think even uh, the, the 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 lady who he picked up at the bar whether she also has a child who knows that's a who knows right and and you know that this could so easily be you know there, i'm sure there's some fan fiction out there about it i'm not so sure whether there was a sequel like uh, to be made in the in the um later years like the uh, post 2010 or whatever have you but this type of material uh, it's so smart it's so smart but it's so simple like what if like it, it was like spider-man spider-man bitten by a spider but then this is taken uh, like a horror approach which is you know very refreshing and i'm glad you know we were able to see this so you know let me know what you guys know about this film when did you watch the film is this part of like a nostalgic horror horror trip for you guys you know let me know in the comments below it's it's really cool to be watching you know um um something you know out of out of out of the blue that yeah, oh, I, d I do not have this in mind, but it just it just popped out out of the blue. So glad, glad, glad we checked it out together. But other than that, guys, stay, stay, stay safe. And, you know, 
I'm not so sure about the whole insect politics thing about no compassion, but you know, a mosquito will bite. I'm, I don't think I've ever heard of a domesticated mosquito. So do with that what you will and keep safe <laughs> and you know, peace out. It's, you know, enjoy, enjoy cinema, my friend. It's very much alive and yeah. Let's give, let's give us some type of look. Let's give a, let's give a mosquito look. Uh, What's up, you cinephiles? Thank you very much for making it to the very end. Me and Big Willie don't take that for granted. We really appreciate you. Now, if you'd like to show your support to us, you know what you can do up here. You can smash that button, really just smash it. And you know, if you would like to check out some more content, they're all curated by days up over here and playlists. So you know what? We hope you're having a great day. Don't crumble and just continue to smile and be a good bastion of cinema.